Buongiorno. Buongiorno. No, you haven't clicked on some Italian Rosetta Stone wrong website just trying to get into the spirits of things because we're going to Italy today. You've clicked on www.larrythewineguy.net and I am Larry the Wine Guy. And today we're going to talk about a grape called Primitivo, which in English means primitive. We're going to get primitive today. We're going back hundreds and hundreds of years where this is the oldest grape varietal known to mankind, or the most primitive grape known to mankind, started in Croatia, then planted in Italy, and then, of course, it wound up somehow in the state of California, and it is known as Red Zinfandel, not that pink stuff with the sugar water. No offense to Behringer Sutter Home people out there, but that's what it is. And Red Zinfandel uh, has evolved over the years in California, destroyed like every other grape they do in California with Cabernets and Merlots and overpriced to where the, the, the sweetness level and the sugar, the residual sugar levels, are so off the charts ridiculous, and the alcohol is so off the charts ridiculous, and the prices are so off the charts ridiculous, that I can't take it anymore. I had to do a video about Primitivo, which is the real red Zinfandel grown in Italy. And where is it grown in Italy? Um, it is down south in an area called Puglia. Picture Italy like a boot like a giant boot. Puglia will be located on the heel of the boot, uh, right towards the Adriatic Sea, and the Mediterranean would be on the opposite side. That's where Primitivo uh, comes from in that area. Red Zinfandel, like I said, in California, I've seen a bottle of Rombauer at $28.99. Uh, said just coming in on the 2008 vintage at 16% alcohol. My esophagus is going to burn. I've got GERD. I need the Prilosec for this kind of alcohol. Nickel and Nickel Bonfire Vineyard, Red Zinfandel, 15.5% alcohol, $45 a bottle. And then Zinfandel drinkers, California Zin drinkers, always say, I love it because it's a spicy, jammy grape. Got a new slash for you. It's not spice. It's excess ridiculous amounts of alcohol. Not European style Primitivo. Now Primitivo can run in the $18, $19 price range, but it's a rustic style Zinfandel when it comes from uh, Italy, where it really should be grown and drank from, in my opinion. You've got those little brambles, the Bordeaux style, the, the meat juices that you smell on Zinfandel. Today, we're talking about one specific Zinfandel that is in the right price range, kind of an entry level of fresh Zinfandel. It is from the Academia de Rassemi, who is a group, a negociant of great, really prime vineyards for the great Primitivo uh, down in the Puglia area. This one comes from Tarantino. It is called Portil, and it is part of the famous uh, uh, Nadia uh, Galetti, uh, Nadia Galati uh, uh, portfolio. So they make a great one called Giravolta that is just out of this world, but it's about 18 bucks a bottle, but at 14% alcohol, drinking like a Chianti meets Zinfandel, a uh, heck of a lot better than, uh, you know, 16% Rombauer alcohol that will probably singe your nose hairs uh, here. This Portille is $9.99. So who would drink this? Who would I recommend this wine? And we'll see what it's going to taste like in a minute. It's those who are drinking the Klein Zinfandels, the base level Ravenswood Zinfandels, uh, those type of Zinfandel drinkers, uh, or that wine that really gets under my skin that is Zinfandel blended with Syrah, another jammy grape, Menage a Trois, you know who I'm talking about here, Zinfandel is the main grape in that, and it, it drinks like Kool-Aid, it drinks like Kool-Aid, these wines, for those people who, who even drink the Blackstone Merlots or the low-end, you know, Robert Mondavi Private Selection Pinot Noirs and, and, or the Sterling Entry Level Vintners Collection Pinot Noirs, this is the type of grape you need to be looking at, it's going to give you that flavor profile, the silky smooth, fruity, young, fresh, hang out, chilling and grilling wine, and uh, it's not all the alcohol, it's not all the money. So uh, this is a 2009 Primitivo del Tarantino from uh, Puglia. By the way, the best area of Italy uh, in Puglia uh, for uh, Primitivo is Manduria, Primitivo de Manduria. So let's pour it. First of all, we can see this dark, 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 dark 
red extracted. These are old vines, by the way. When you buy gnarly head, old vines. California, once again, my favorite state to visit, not to drink their wines or pay for their overpriced wines. Uh, don't get me wrong. You pay for a bottle of Camus, I'll drink it with you, or Opus One, but not, it's not coming out of my wallet in this economy. Um, you can, because so buy it for me. Uh, but um, as I was saying, is that uh, Minduria is the best area. This is dark, 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 dark purple in the glass. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let, let's see what it smells like on the nose. This is very old vines. I was talking about old vines. That's right. Got off track there. Uh, old vines means nothing in California. They are eventually going to crack down on that law that the vines have to be a specific amount of years. I believe 40 years old in order to put the words. But right now, 9.99. You're getting old vine fruits in California. Right. Give me a break. But this is truly old vine fruit in Italy. They have some control over these type of things before they put certain things on the labels. Uh, Oh my God, this is just like open a jar. And I'm not talking like sweet peanut butter and jelly smuckers. I'm talking about just fresh blueberries and boysenberries. It's just like somebody has just mashed up a bunch of blueberries and boysenberries and, uh, and, and is making fresh fruit salad with a little bit of added blackberry brandy in it. Oh, what a gorgeous nose. And you know, I do smell like a little fresh ground black pepper or white pepper maybe in there, but not singeing my nasal hairs. They're still all intact. Unfortunately, I have to trim them every day uh, because uh, I've got more hair in my nose than I do on my head. But, wow, what a nose. Definitely boysenberry, fresh blueberries, maybe a little blackberry in there and a little bit of spice, and nothing bitter. Hmm. It's just nice and fresh, young. Zinfandel, 2009. Let's see what we got on the palate. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That is just absolutely... What a finish here, too. For young fruit. Look at these legs. It's 13% alcohol, and there's still legs. That's low alcohol. This is not 16%. Rumbauer, and this is $9.99. Tell your friends it's Red Diamond Merlot, and I like those people owned by Chateau Saint Michel. Tell them it's Blackstone. Tell them it's Pinot Noir. They're not going to know the difference because it's got that flavor profile, the fruit, the silkiness with a little bit of spice. Tell them it's Yellowtail, for God's sake. This is a better buy than any of that stuff. Tell them this is Menage a Trois. They won't know the difference, but they're drinking real Italian style. Primitivo. When you're in a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, you want Red Zin, drink Primitivo. That's where it started, and they're still making it the right way today. I've got to have another sip. Mm. I just love this wine. This is, it's even got a little bit of ripe tannins to it. Imagine if this is 2007 Primitivo. There's a lot of them on the market. Layer Cake Primitivo at 13.5% alcohol, around $17 a bottle. I mean, uh, like I said, Rossini, the Academia de Rossini makes a uh, Giravolta that's my favorite, but more rustic style. This is for that $9.99 Zinfandel Merlot Menage a Trois drinker to try. This is Bellissimo, sticking with the Italian theme. I'm going to enjoy this while you're there. I hope you learned a little something. Get Primitive, drink Primitivo, not Red Zinfandel from California, and you can get it at a $9.99 price point if you're looking for an everyday type of wine. What can I say? Ciao! I mean, ciao bella! Enough of the Italian stuff. I'm going to say what I always say. I'll see you next time on www.larrythewineguy.net. Wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you and me. Have yourself a great day and try some Primitivo. I'll see you then. I gotta get a pizza.